What are carbohydrates? Well, in this video, we're talking about carbohydrates or carbs. We're gonna go over the types of carbohydrates, why our bodies need them, and how they affect our health. I love bread. Robert Browning, English poet and playwright, once said that if thou tastest a crust of bread, thou tastest all the stars and all the heavens. Well, if you like bread too, why don't you click like and subscribe and share this video with others? Now, let's get right to it. So what exactly is the deal with carbohydrates? What are carbs? If we're talking about it in the molecular level, well, a carbohydrate, it is an organic compound and it contains a ratio of one carbon atom and two hydrogen atoms to one oxygen atom. So on the simplest level, they're hydrated carbons. Well, real quick, first let's do a quick breakdown of the types of carbohydrates out there. Now, there's two main types of carbohydrates. We have simple carbs, also known as fast-releasing carbohydrates, because as the name suggests, they create energy quickly. And we have complex carbohydrates, or slow-releasing carbs, which slowly break down to create energy in our bodies. Now, these simple carbs are also simply known as, well, sugars. Simple carbs are sugars, and they can be broken down further into even two groups called monosaccharides and disaccharides. Now, monosaccharides are the simplest carbohydrates and contains sugars called glucose, galactose, and fructose. Glucose is the most abundant simple carb in the human body and is the body's preferred source of energy. Additionally, it's the main source of energy for our brains. That's helpful to know. Now, the other group of simple carbs, disaccharides, are a pair of these monosaccharides linked together. And disaccharides include other forms of sugar called sucrose, lactose, and maltose. So enough about the simple carbs, let's talk about the other main group of carbs, and that's complex carbohydrates, also known as polysaccharides. They're composed of a long chain of sugar molecules, and our bodies break down these complex carbs into simpler forms like glucose. So polysaccharides can be further broken down into two groups, which we call fibers and starches. Starches are found in grains like legumes and beans, rice and potatoes. The human digestive system has a very difficult time breaking down these raw starches. However, when we cook, it actually helps break them down and it makes it easier for us to digest. Now, fibers, fibers are considered very complex types of carbohydrates. And in fact, they're so complex, the human body cannot actually break down fibers, but they're still very important to our health. We get fibers from foods such as uh, beans, whole grains, potatoes, nuts, and some fruits and vegetables. But next, we should ask ourselves, why should we care about these carbohydrates? Who cares if they're simple, complex, or whatever? Well, what do they do for our bodies? Well, there's actually five main roles that carbs play, but we're just gonna focus on two of those today. Now, some of those other roles uh, can get pretty complicated, so that's part of the reason why we're doing that. But the first role that we're talking about is it gives us energy. Carbohydrates are the main source of our body's energy. And if we don't eat enough of them, it can lead us to feeling sluggish and tired and even make exercising difficult. Now, the second role is it's used for storing energy. And if the body already has enough energy to work properly, the excess glucose is stored as complex molecule called glycogen, and the majority of which is stored in the muscle and the liver. So with that, we now know what carbs do for us, but what about all those other different types of carbohydrates? Which, which ones are best for us? Well, the healthiest carbohydrates include nutrient-dense whole foods. And I know we've brought that up before, but if you're not sure what that means, I want you to think of foods that have never been through a factory process. They've, they haven't had to be refined, pre-packaged with lots of strange additives that you can't even pronounce. And these foods provide us with the best energy for our bodies and often release into our bodies more slowly. So like some of these that we have here, 
Healthy food choices that are high in good carbs include fruits and milk products, whole grains like brown rice and oatmeal, starchy vegetables like sweet potatoes and carrots and corns and legumes such as lentils, black beans, and other beans. Healthy foods that are a bit lower in carbs include such as like non-starchy veggies like leafy greens, broccoli and peppers and cucumbers and many other things, as well as nuts, seeds and tofu. Carb loaded foods that we need to be careful about and limit and maybe even avoid altogether includes processed simple carbs like candies and sweets and refined breads like white bread or pastas and pastries, sugary drinks and sodas, I mean, we can make a huge list that goes on and on. And unlike whole foods, these carbs only provide temporary quick energy for our bodies and very little in the way of actually providing good nutrients and energy for it. And additionally, once our bodies get too much of these bad carbs, they start to get stored as excess fat. And these simple sugars can also cause blood sugar spikes, blood sugar crashes, which lead us to feeling tired and other symptoms such as even headaches. So choosing whole foods more often instead of all those easy to eat simple carbs that inundate our grocery stores and our restaurants is one step to improving our overall health. So now that we know which carbs are best for our bodies, how much should we eat? Well, the 2020 Dietary Guidelines for Americans suggest about 45 to 65 percent of the total calories we eat should be from carbohydrates. So right around half or, or a bit more of what we eat. And if we take a look at the USDA MyPlate guidelines, this picture here shows their suggestions. Now they may suggest about half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables with a bit more vegetables and the other half should be protein and grains. And they also suggest at least half of those grains need to be whole grains. So that's it. Now you know a bit more about carbs. And if you like this video and some of the information we're coming out with, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you can be notified and share this with your friends. Now, watch out for our next video where we're going to be talking about fats. You all have a good one.